Well, what a week. Um, <laughs> I got my sunshine. Oh, you can't see my mini skirt, can you? There you go. <laughs> I got my sunshine and clouds top on just to remind me to like, I don't know, it just makes me happy. Okay, so um, today I've done a couple of days in the life, day in the life of a property developer, just so you guys can see the different stuff that happens. But let's do kind of a real rough rundown of a week, and then maybe you can take that information and translate it into your own weeks. Um, we're in the beginning of January, um, so that's always a time of um, I've done the reflecting, did that over Christmas, set the business plans, set the targets, uh, set the personal plans, uh, and now we're completely on delivering. I, I'm super excited about the year so a real kind of sense of positivity in action just about to get into the office I'm technically on a day off but I'm waiting for a good friend of mine who's gonna come for brunch uh, and I thought I'd go in and just do a couple of things while he meets me here he is a long-term property friend I knew him when he had like 40 houses and I had zero uh, and I met him at the local Bristol pin like golly just about 10 years ago and he was one of my three peers and we uh, with all the three different peers we individually would meet up like once every three months and check in on progress with each other all those three guys had lots of property i had none but they were very kind and kind of um we kind of individually had good friendships and set up right let's let's have a plan so straight away if you've got no property you it, it's not like another job where people of the same level always hang out with each other you know they were super kind to me i had nothing knew very little but was of use to them in some ways because I could keep them accountable and then they'd keep me accountable. So my other friend David, uh, we'd go for long walks and talk about life. Um, my friend uh, Nigel and I would go for Indian, uh, Indian uh, restaurant lunches, get out our computers alongside the naan bread and the curries, and he would show me his 20-year plan and his 20-year projections, which was brilliant for me for looking at long-term stable planning. And then this friend Lee, oh, the rot bag. I'd be like, right, I'm going to go this, 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 and this. And and then three months later, we'd meet up. Even though he's from Wales and I'm from Bristol, we'd tend to meet up in London. Um, and he'd open his notebook, and I'd be like, oh. Because he'd be like, you said you were going to do this, this, and this. And um, what have you done? You're like, oh. So that's a fantastic friendship. It's a kind of business friendship, but it's like an, uh, an accountability friendship and an enjoyable. We, we, you know, we're both geeks on business, anoraks, if you like. But holding each other to account. I won't tell you what I got him to do, but I was kicking his ass too. So this week has been um, quite a lot of peers. Yesterday I spent the full day with two really good friends of mine, and we spent eight hours chatting general business, property. I drove. It was about three hours drive away, so I drove for three hours. We spent eight hours together, had sandwiches, had pizza, had ridiculous amounts of cups of tea, and we were actually particularly learning about uh, in the holiday business service accommodation business which is fantastic, but we're also talking general stuff around industry for eight hours, and I drove home, which is why, mm, morning. Uh, earlier in the week, I met up with another friend of mine who's done 48 million quid GDV, uh, and we were chatting, it, it, I wouldn't call them problems, because he doesn't have problems, but we're just chatting about the challenges he's currently facing, and actually, very strongly, and, and neither one of us are particular sort of... Um, uh, 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 not even hippies, but do you know what I mean? We're not, we're not, we're led by action, both of us. But we're very much talking about mindsets and talking about the early why and what drove both of us, which is often a fear-driven why, and then a, how we need to change that mindset to a more positive-driven why. Because that fear-driven why is fantastic uh, until you get to a point, as he does, where he's got a Phantom Rolls Royce on his, his front court and fair play to him. But you need to now think about a different reason because your behaviour changes. So it's about appreciating once you've got to a certain stage that the behaviour that got you there is not the behaviour that's going to get you to the next level. So we we're, we're, you know, we'd sat in, in a cafe and talked about kind of mindset and property for an hour and a half. So that is three really important peer meetups in a week. And that's really critical. And I really want to impress upon you guys to do the same. Meet up with people who are going to hold you accountable bring intelligence and wisdom and like door moments i mean yesterday we had i'm really quite good at marketing and they and they were going so what's the name of your property and i'm like uh flat one and they're like no it needs to be like park view or something like that you know you, your toes curl <laughs> you're like oh i'm supposed to be quite good at this oh apart from that 
and refinancing because I'm at the stage where I'm just about to finish with all private investors, which is uh, uh, um, very, 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 very grateful, but also a wonderful position to be in. And I'm also at the stage that um, properties are now becoming unencumbered. So I'm uh, doing quite a little bit of refinancing at the moment, working with banks, getting cheaper interest rates, uh, really tidying up the portfolio, which is wonderful. Uh, we are talking to people non-stop, which is so much fun about the mentoring programs, the online and the face-to-face. -face. And I'm just relishing chat to people about property. It's so much fun. Uh, I am seriously sweeping through uh, the uh, portfolio and kind of doing a review. I'm not yet 10 years in, but I'm very close to being 10 years in. And I've just got this feeling like matron. I want to tip all the sheets under. You know what I mean? I just want to, I, I got this fantastic, I'm very grateful. I've got this fantastic portfolio and I just want to go through everything in detail. So I think what happens is you do a, like a massive run of stretch and then you go, do you know, we got to a position that you know was un unforeseen at the beginning, so now let's breathe and let's just review everything. Uh, um, oh, and I'm waiting for listed planning consent, which should arrive in three weeks' time, uh, and then we start a new renovation. I've also been on site twice this week on a house we're building, and we're finishing off the office renovation. Uh, our mentoring group arrived tomorrow. Uh, when I left the day before yesterday, the toilet wasn't in, although we do have another one, so let's see. Uh, and this weekend is going to be fabulous because we've got a really funky office. Mentoring group are coming to us and we're trying out two local suppliers. So we're going to have Chilean food one day and Jamaican food the next day. Now that beats hotel sandwiches, hands down. Oh, and cake. So, oh, and so that's like... The, oh, uh, and of course, Wednesdays, I meet with my bookkeeper. Oh, yeah, and on Tuesday morning, I met at half seven for a three-hour meet with our finance director to really discuss the kind of financial five-year plan. So there you go. Five-year plan with finance director, day-to-day um, -day cash flow, uh, invoice, predictions, and profit and loss for individual properties, individual businesses on Wednesday with bookkeeper, working with team, talking to loads of people about mentoring, which is so much fun. Um, ah, yeah, working, we've got a new CRM system, and I'm just ridiculously excited about it because it pops out people like, oh, yeah, that person, they're fabulous. Um, meeting with three peers, doing a whole day session of learning about uh, service accommodation um, to really deepen my knowledge. We, we, we've actually got, we've run a test case for five properties for a year now, but this really deepens my knowledge. Uh, mentoring at the weekend. Mm, organising an office refurb, organising a house we're renovating and waiting for listed planning consent and refinancing. And then train us, then the architects. Um, the architects next door have electrical cars and I think there's two of them in the business and they have the same car and the numbers are just one different, which is very architectural and organised, isn't it? And then training, done lots and lots of training, lots and lots of weightlifting and CrossFit. It's about my week, isn't it? And I don't even think I've had cake, which means this weekend. Okay, I hope that's useful for you to understand the day-to-day -day variability of uh, a property developer. It's an exciting job. I mean, there's days when you're just doing paperwork and thinking, ah, <laughs> but generally it's a fabulous thing to do. And I love it. See you soon. Bye.